that's Dave Copperman. Dave Copperman, right. Thank you. Um, Dave, yes, I definitely do think that it's uh, an art unto itself. And um, the funny, I think the funniest story about that was, uh, I think, when uh, Ron Perlman took over Marvel Comics and sent his legion of junior league rock Ron Perlman into the Marvel offices to sit down and figure out, okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna run this place now that Ron Perlman owns it? And um, they were walking him through the process of how you make a comic book, and they were showing him a uh, pencil uh, pencil page, and then showing him an ink page that you pencil it first and then ink it. And being a very budget conscious corporate guy, he said, uh, why don't you just get them to ink it, uh, do it in ink in the first place and just skip the whole penciling process. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, well, okay, that's why you make the big bucks. Uh, that's really the answer to the question is uh, you couldn't possibly ink a comic book page without penciling it first. So consequently, uh, you can't, uh, in the, uh, the Ken, uh, Kevin Smith sense, um, say that this guy is a tracer. Uh, there are tracers, um, depending on who you're inking. Uh, Gene Day, like when I would go up and visit him, would have different books by uh, different people. Um, Pat Broderick would pencil very, very tightly. Uh, the latest Star Wars would be there, and I could see Infantino's pencils, and uh, there was virtually nothing there. So uh, it was a question of how much do you have to bring to this? Uh, something that uh, uh, Dave Sim trying to, uh, uh, here's my friend and here's my other friend, you guys should meet each other. Uh, Gene Day was at a convention that I was at and that Marshall Rogers was at. And uh, I said to Gene, uh, Marshall's a great guy. You should, uh, you should go over and meet him. Just say, you know, Dave said uh, I should come over and talk to you. And, you know, Dave and I have been friends for years and, you know, working together um, from back in the fanzine days. And uh, Gene said, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll go over and talk to him. And Gene went over and was sort of waiting in front of Marshall. Um, Marshall had a couple of people at the, at the table. And um, Marshall was talking about uh, uh, complaints that he has uh, with uh, how, how he's been dealt with in the comic book field, where uh, he said, uh, well, one of the problems is that I've never been inked properly. <laughs> it's like Gene Day sitting there, and in his brain he's going, you've been inked by Terry Austin, and you've been inked by Dick, Dick Giordano. Uh, you have been inked properly. You have been, as, as a matter of fact, improved sectorally. And realizing that, you know, being a very polite Canadian, which Gene, which Gene was, he couldn't say this to Marshall Rogers. He just basically turned around and walked away. And when I asked him, did you meet Marshall Rogers, he said, uh, yeah, he was talking to somebody and saying that he had never been inked properly. And I thought, you've been inked by Terry Austin and Dick, Dick Giordano. I have absolutely nothing to say to you and walked away. <laughs> my, uh, one of my favorite convention experiences was I was at Wizard World and Eric Larson was doing a how-to panel on how to draw a fight scene. And they had a a transparency projector and a screen so you know, he could draw on a transparency and project it up and we could see what he was doing. And he was drawing the Hulk fighting the Savage Dragon. And have you ever seen how Eric Larson pencils? Yes. So he's, he's, he, he's holding a marker the way he holds a pencil or, or, or pen, you know, in his funny grip. And he's scribbling away and up on the screen is f six panels full of circles. And the entire audience is just kind of 
sitting there slack jawed going, this, this doesn't look like anything. It's just a bunch of circles. And he's like, he's going, and he's saying, oh, you know, you have to use dynamicism and, you know, a really, you know, powerful perspective. He's like, like, in this panel, it's the Hulk punching out the dragon. And we're all sitting there slack, glass-eyed, slack-jawed. And he goes, see, it's the dragon. And he puts a line through one of the circle's heads, or through one of the circles. And you realize it's the dragon's fin coming directly at you. And the entire thing, it's all of a sudden you can see, oh, yeah, that pile of circles is the Hulk. And this pile of circles is the dragon. And this pile of circles is some rubble. And I'm going, I can't imagine how Eric's pencils would look if he was doing it for somebody else and he forgot and didn't do it tight. <laughs> right. I mean, it was, the entire audience, as one, went, oh! And, like, it was audible. And he kind of stopped and looked up and went, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this. You know, it's not for print, and I'm not doing it for myself to ink later. But he was still thinking as a penciler, not as an inker. Right. Right. Um, one of the stories that I told Gene Day that I shouldn't have told him, because it's kind of cruel, uh, but what was very, very funny was uh, Gil Kane talking about uh, inkers at Marvel and being ink. He said that uh, inkers are like, and then, uh, then he gestured like a, a marionette. You lift up the hands, you slide the page underneath them, you drop the hands onto the page, and they ink it. And then you lift them up, and then you slide another page underneath it. And it's like, it was very, very funny and very, very accurate, uh, both about the process from a penciler's standpoint. 